Our consumer society is built upon consumption, and consumption creates waste. One of the materials we struggle to utilise after we throw it away is plastic. Now aquarium keepers have used plastic extensively in their tanks for decades. Most of the components used in aquarium keeping are built with plastic. Filters, breeding boxes, breeding caves, many parts that we deliberately put into a tank to keep our fish alive and healthy are made with plastic. But in the natural environment, plastic which has been thoughtlessly thrown away has become an incredible pollution which is killing marine animals, birds and all manner of types of life. Here's a case of a critically endangered fish which lives in the estuaries in very small numbers in very small areas in Tasmania. These little hand fish are incredible little creatures. They're a member of the angler fish family and they look absolutely beautiful. But they're in danger. There are very, very few of these fish left in the wild. An introduced invasive starfish has caused the numbers of handfish to drop to dangerous levels. At first it was thought the starfish could be eating the eggs of the fish, but it turns out the starfish are eating this marine algae, which is used by the little fish when they breed. By using plastic and putting it into their environment, these have replaced the macroalgae that these fish will only spawn on. In this elaborate ceremony, the fish need to have these upright pipes upon which to lay their eggs. And if they're breeding, the population has a chance again. These fish live very, very close to industrial built up areas. But strangely enough, plastic might help them to survive. Thank you so much for watching.